G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now what happens to your SharePoint Copilot agent that you have created and made available to all of your site uh, visitors? Who can edit that? And also what happens if a user that has created a SharePoint Copilot agent, what happens when they leave the organization? Who can actually access the agent that they have created? Two questions I'm going to answer in this video that have come from questions from the community. So if you haven't subscribed to the newsletter uh, every single week in your inbox, uh, subscribe, head over to danielanderson.io and pop your email address in and every single week you will get deep dives, tips, tricks, advice, thoughts, everything around SharePoint and Copilot to help you individually use them better and also improve your business as well. So let's jump into answering these two questions. So so you can see that I'm in a SharePoint site. I'm logged in as myself here. Now I've got a policies library and we're going to do something that is called uh, click to copilot. All right, I heard this term uh, in uh, an interview with um, TJ uh, Devine the other day with Mark Cashman. So great little term. I hadn't heard that before, but click to copilot. What we can do is we can select a couple of documents here or uh, a single document or a folder and we can then go click create an agent. So we can see here, I've got my new agent being created that is grounded specifically on these four documents. All right, so I'm going to edit this agent and I'm going to call this agent Nala. All right, I'll leave everything the same or everything as default just for the sake of this video. I've got my sources, you can see grounded in my my four documents there. I've got the behavior. Uh, I'm just going to leave everything there, the instructions, and we'll just hit save. That is going to save this agent. All right. So that is now been saved and you can see that it's been saved under policies uh, and it's called Nala.agent. So I'm going to close this down. And because we created this in this document library, that's where this agent file is going to live. All right, so it's gonna live inside this document library. I'm just gonna close this down. Now, I'll clear these filters and you can see that there is the agent file. So it's like an, like an ordinary file, but it's a dot agent file, all right? So if I now flick over to a user and this user is called Frankie, Frankie, has got read access. So you can see that I've got these icons here. I can't edit, I can't, I haven't got any new button or upload or anything like that, okay? Now you see that he hasn't got access to the agent, all right? So also up in the Copilot uh, button up the top in the nav bar, we can see that it hasn't been approved. So he doesn't have access yet to this agent. So what I'm going to do as the owner of this agent or the creator of this agent, I am going to now go into my Nala agent. I'm going to make this and set this as an approved agent. All right, so that's now setting it as approved. Now what you'll notice is that it moves it out of the library that it was originally created in and it moves it into the site assets folder in the document library. So I'll click OK. I'll flip back over to Frankie now and I'll just refresh this page. And you'll see that this view doesn't have, um, it doesn't have any, oh, it doesn't, it un, is only showing policies, contracts, and memos as the document type. So we don't even see the agent file here uh, in any case. Now you can see here that we've got Nala here and I can flip over and I can start to interact with this agent. But we can't edit this agent. So you can see that the edit button is actually grayed out. All right, because Nala here only has read access to this entire site. Now, let's have a look and see what happens when we change our permissions. So I'm going to jump into site permissions and then I'll change Frankie from read to edit. So now becomes part of the members group and has got edit access. We'll jump back over to Frankie. We'll refresh the page. You'll see that the SharePoint library changes. I've got my new button, my upload button, as you would expect. Now, if I uh, jump into the uh, agent now, you can see that I actually do have the ability to create or edit this agent. I might just pop in a little wavy hand here. Um, and you can see when I hit save, that has now been saved, all right? So that is the description. So if I pop back into uh, myself here, and I'll hit the refresh, and let's have a look. 
So we'll jump up into Copilot. We'll open up Nala, our policies agent. So we'll jump into Nala. Um, and that hasn't come through yet. Let me just refresh again. Not yet. So let's just close this down. I'm just going to hit a, another refresh. And if it doesn't, we'll come back and have a look at that in just a second as well. We'll jump over there and that hasn't happened as yet. All right. So the other thing that worth noting here is if I can control access, even though that people have got uh, edit access, I could jump into, because this is a file, right? I could jump into my site assets library because I've, it's been approved. It sits in this special copilots folder under approved. There's Nala right there. But I can manage access to this, right? So I can manage access like any other file. I can go to groups and I can go to members and I could say, I only want members to view this file and I will hit apply, okay? So that's now changed the permissions on that individual file. So if I pop back over into Frankie now, and I, and this is this is interesting to, to watch this happen, is I can still see this edit button, right? And if I go into and change something and I hit save, you can see that the agent cannot be saved. There was an error saving the agent. So while it looks like you can edit, when you go to save it, it's worth noting that you can't save that. That's because of the file permissions on that file. So let me jump back over. I will reset the permissions. I'll manage access. I'll go back to groups. I'll jump into members and I'll change this back to can edit. I will hit apply. And then if I jump back across into Frankie, I'm just going to refresh this, uh, this agent and I will edit this agent and let's have, uh, we'll edit the description, we'll hit save. And then that has now been saved, all right? So you can see that we can, it acts like a, a file, but the thing to note here, who can edit is the person or any people that have got member access or edit access to the site or the library that this resides in can edit that um, can edit that agent. But you can manage it if you need to, or have some situation that you, that you need to edit uh, manage it on a file level on an agent level basis. Like any other file, we can set the man the, the access rights on that particular file. So that means that. If somebody leaves an organization, that means that you still have access and the ability to uh, edit, that ex uh, edit that agent even if a particular person leaves the organization. So I hope that uh, gives you some insights. Uh, thanks for the two questions from the community and I'll see you in the next episode.